to be a real confidence boost. Uh, so uh, I'm going to finish this bit before the game with a question for you, Chris. Who is your money on? I've got to go Shadow Hunters. I think to win four out of four in the group stage, you can't back against them. I will, of course, even things up, and I will go <laughs> with Total Pez. Let's see what is going to happen. Take us away, Chris. Well, for the first time today, extra time and penalties are on. So we could be more than 90 minutes. 10-minute match, of course. They were switched off for, for the group stage, and already uh, the referee has blown his whistle here. So just to confirm, it is Arsenal against Arsenal. And is this a, a very, very early pause here? And we're going to system setting, that is why it's not going to be a, a tactical switch, but um, an opportunity maybe just, uh, just to have a look what is going on here. But certainly this won't help the players in terms of settling their nerves and, uh, and getting in. Directional guide, I think, was the thing that was on, and that is very frustrating. Yeah, potentially. Uh, could that have been left on? Could it be a, a little bit of gamesmanship going on? You never know at this stage, do you? Every little detail, of course, counts and uh, we hopefully will be getting underway as soon as possible. Of course, you have gone with Shadowhunters from Spain. I've gone with Topez from Brazil. It is Europe versus uh, the Americas here in the Europe round in the capital of Germany, Berlin. Lovely city, isn't it, Chris? Magnificent and a glorious day outside as well, akin to what it uh, is here on the Pez. Uh, bright sunshine, although it's, uh, this one's being played after dark with the floodlights on. So here we go, really are underway here. And uh, it is uh, the boys from Brazil who are playing in the Arsenal blue from right to left. And it is uh, Shadowhunters in the home strip for Arsenal in red. And they have the ball now. And immediately Lacazette is off and running. And if he'd kept that in play, it could have been a chance. Yeah, bright start for Shadowhunters playing in the home strip. Of course, Total Pez, as we well know, will be more than happy to soak up a bit of pressure and nick the odd goal. Imagine if they were to win this 1-0, and that would be a real turn of events to go four on the trot with a 1-0 scoreline. But you cannot ride off, of course, Shadowhunters, who were free-flowing in their group stages. Four clean sheets in a row would be something else, wouldn't it, in co-op? Certainly would. It would show some real team unity, that's for sure. Arsenal playing around at the back. Uh, Czech picks out Beren, who uh, rather runs into Alexander Lacazette. Out of play for a, a red Arsenal throw. Shadow Hunters with a crossfield pass uh, looking for Kalasanac. Uh, if Henrik Mkhitaryan had won that ball, then uh, his team might have been away. Mesut Ozil. Now, Alex Awobi, who I don't think has been picked by the red Arsenal team. Lacazette. Very, very good defending there. For a moment, I thought he was in. Yeah, shut the door really well there as total... Uh, sorry, uh, top Pez, should I say. Total Pez could be a join, a join team between them and Total Football if this goes sour. But, of course, they're in again here. The Brazilians, it's a chance for Lacazette. And we've got the first goal. And it's, to it's Team Top Pez. Team Top Pez. Wow. All the alliteration. They're playing Total Pez at the moment, though. You called it. Might have got the name wrong, but that's exactly what they're playing at the moment. Yeah, and having won, having won three games in a row, 1-0, Alexander Lacazette puts top Pez for a cow, 1-0 up again. I'm going to blame the brilliance of the Pez in front of me that uh, spellbounded me into getting the name wrong, of course. But what a finish that was uh, from the man from Arsenal there. For the Brazilians in charge, and I will finally get the name right, top Pez are 1-0 to the good here at Brazil, 1-0 against Spain thumping finished from Lacazette and a nice celebration from him and also from the boys from Brazil who have uh, travelled a long way to Berlin and uh, right now they're heading through to the final a lot can change in the next 80 minutes or so of action here is uh, Lacazette at the other end Alex Awobi scampering back and clearing out of play what a turnaround this would be it just goes to show you can lose your first game and if you have the right attitude and mentality you can come back but here is Mukatarin, lovely ball, free header, and he's missed the target. Yeah, Shadow Hunters now have to do what no other team has done in 270 Pez minutes, and that is to breach this uh, Brazilian back line. Uh, some feat, isn't it, to go three games with clean sheets, as we've already mentioned. If they can go four, wow, they really are a team to watch. Um, so, yeah, all eyes on Shadow Hunters. Can they break them down? And with further evidence of how uh, this format of pairs at the very top level that you're watching is evolving. It's becoming much more like the 1v1, but they might be broken here. Great save from Petacek. 
Well, I thought that was the moment that finally they were going to be undone. Lacazette with the through ball and Aubameyang on the turn must have thought he'd score. Yeah, it was a combination of the defender and Pedacek uh, which stopped their uh, goal line from being breached. But 18 minutes on the clock and uh, top pairs are still 1-0 to the good as it swung in and they've got the equaliser. That's exactly what has happened. What a header. What a header. Shadow Hunters with the high fives and no surprise. And top pairs, uh, it's horrible. You can see to concede from a set piece. Very, very frustrating. Towering header and what a start to this first semi-final. As you've seen already, we love to curse the players. The curse of the commentator. We were saying how resolute defensively uh, top pairs have been. And then to go and concede from a set piece, that must be really frustrating, Chris. I think it was uh, Lauren Koscielny, was it? Up from the back. The captain leading by example. It's all about the delivery. It was uh, sweetly struck. Koscielny heads it home. And inside 20 minutes, we have two goals. This could be a cracker. Iwobi picks it up for uh, top pairs for a cow. Again, playing in the Arsenal blue. How will they respond to that? Conceded a goal. They haven't done that for a couple of hours. Aubameyang immediately looking to get them moving. Henrik Mkhitaryan forces uh, the ball to be knocked out of play. Bearing will take this throw in. Midway point of the opening half. It's been special so far. Long throw in towards Aubameyang. Lacazette was almost there. We've seen a number of teams utilising Hector Bearing's long throw. Yeah, the, uh, the modern-day Rory Delat, you could say, is uh, 25 minutes coming up on the clock now. Level on the scoreboard, and it's, uh, it's the Brazilians' top pez, Furacal, who seem to be in the ascendancy in the majority of the game, but we've seen Shadow Hunters only need one chance. For anybody not uh, a fay with Rory Delap or maybe didn't live in the Derby or Stoke area of England, um, great analogy, he used to hurl the ball a good... 40, 50 yards sometimes. Perhaps showing my age, maybe. <laughs> he used to have a ball boy, especially, who would dry the ball for him, would you believe? It was certainly a weapon they utilised, and here is a weapon here for Shadow Hunters down the right-hand side, again using that width, but this time the ball is uh, just overhit and it's out of play for a goal kick. Which Petacek will take long, been a really open opening 30 minutes. Ozil now, almost spun away from his marker. Instead, Arsenal will charge forward here. It's a good ball looking for yeah, Emmerich Aubameyang. Iwobi picks up the pieces. Now Lacazette onto Aubameyang at the other end. Henrik Mukatari and Arsenal's three musketeers looking to create something here. Mukatari, they might just do that. The shot could be on. He went for the aerial through. Didn't come off. Carzola picks up the pieces. Bayerin crosses in. Lacazette is there. And it will come to Mesut Ozil. Must be! The boys from Brazil back ahead, 2-1. Wow, what a performance this is turning out to be from Top Pez. And we thought before the game that actually Shadow Hunters would take the game to Top Pez with that resolute defensive ability that the Brazilians have. But it's been quite the flip reverse. And we've seen Top Pez, Fiora Cao, actually take the game to Shadow Hunters. And what a goal it was. It dropped to Mesut Ozil inside the uh, penalty area. And there was no one around from Shadow Hunters to take the ball away. And he just had a... a you know, an age, it seemed, just to put that ball in the back of the net. And what a finish it was from the German international. Yeah, just looking at, at the, uh, the expression from the Shadow Hunters there. And they look very disappointed. There are a couple of questions being asked. Some uh, look to the skies, but he was all alone, was uh, Mesut Ozil. And on his uh, left foot, he doesn't miss chances like that. So Shadow Hunters, four wins out of four in the group stage, are behind for the second time in the semi-finals. Yeah, can they respond again? It, it probably is going to go down as a mistake in the end from Koscielny. It looked like a, a very heavy touch, and that's probably why the inquest was there from the Shadow Hunters players. Uh, it was a goal all of their own doing. As 35 minutes gone, they find themselves behind, like you mentioned, for the second time. Looking to respond, uh, the team from Spain in Arsenal red. Bamiang, look at that tracking. It was, it was excellent. They've worked it nicely here, though, to Aubameyang on towards Lacazette. So oh. off the bar. So unlucky, so unlucky, the Frenchman, Lacazette. Lovely ball over the top, and it should have been 2-2, shouldn't it, Chris? He come thundering back off the crossbar when it looked for all the world to see that was going to be 2-2. So unfortunate. And this is uh, probably the most entertaining, certainly, of the co-op games that we have seen. Could have had four goals. and we're only Should have had four goals. Absolutely. We're only 40 minutes in. Crossbar is still shaking on the on this game of Pez. So, 
Here goes uh, Lacazette. Oh, Aubameyang, I thought he might have been through there. Instead, it went to Awobi on this near side. Awobi creates the space for the cross. Aubameyang is dispossessed. One attacks, the other attacks. It's about being clinical in the final third. There's a lot of space every time a team goes forward. And here is Lacazette, great challenge from Santi Cazorla. And now Mesut Ozil leads the charge at the other end. Last 90 seconds of the first 45 here. A third goal. And I tell you what, top is for a cow. Would have one foot and a couple of toes in the final. And Lacazette was trying to get on the end of that ball. To see how only misses the header. Here's uh, Aubameyang at the other end. He's got a man in support. Aubameyang. Nice bit of uh, skill. Brilliant equaliser. Shadow Hunters with some fine pairs there. 2-2, two, two. what a last four. Yeah, it was two on two, and it looked like we were shouting for the cross to come in early. We thought the chance had gone, but it just shows you that these guys know each other's games inside out, because when that ball was pulled back towards the edge of the area, it was in exactly the perfect position to follow up with the finish. And I was just about to say, will that missed opportunity play on Shadow Hunters' mind? And well, they've answered that emphatically, haven't they, Chris? What a finish. That was incisive. And what a finish from Danny Welbeck. Right foot, top corner. Do you know what? I think he that clipped came the woodwork the as well, yeah. So it just shows fortune favours the brave. Sometimes the woodwork can be frustrating on pairs. Sometimes it can help because that one, that's a brilliant finish. What a camera angle we have there. 2-2. Two, two. Well, I don't want to jinx it, but I did say Shadow Hunters always are involved in goal games. So uh, let's hope for more in the second half as we tick into the final few seconds. Breathless, wasn't it? You've twice predicted 6-6, six, six, and it hasn't happened, but you never know. We could have extra time. We could have penalties. Yeah, it's, come uh, on, guys. Prove me right. Let's have a 6-6. Six, six. That'd be nice. It'll be... Uh, well, as I said, we'll need a lie down if it, if it gets that far, because 2-2 two, two is uh, pretty enthralling stuff now. I just wonder if both teams will be happy, if they'll both be a bit rueful that they're not ahead. It's certainly been really entertaining. Yeah, I mean, you'd feel on, on paper, looking at when the goals went in, that Shadow Hunters would be the happier twice coming from behind. Uh, it does show uh, the weakness which we didn't think Top Pez had after their three clean sheets. But of course, uh, on the flip side, Shadow Hunters all know that if they go behind again for a third time, they might not quite be as lucky and they might not have the time to turn it around for a third time so uh, we're going to throw out another cliche this next goal could be all crucial and a free kick very early on here Santi Cazorla is weighing it up he goes short to Lacazette almost ran through to Awobi for a moment Topes Furacao scored pretty early in the first half looking to do the same in the second they're in the Arsenal blue the red is shadow hunters and here is Hector Bayerin who gives that away a bit disappointingly Henrik Mkhitaryan is in to win it no way through. Second half has started just as uh, entertainingly as the first period ended. Is that going to make its way out? No, it's not. Iwobi is there. Great ball to Lacazette. Aubameyang was immediately on the move. That pass was red. And now at the other end, plenty of action. Lacazette and Aubameyang inside the penalty area. Welbeck was uh, trying to tease the uh, opportunity to cross instead. Lacazette and Aubameyang look to create something and he was almost in there, Alexander Lacazette. Yeah, that would have been a big chance and they are getting a lot of joy, uh, Top Pez, in the wide areas using that wide diamond formation, the 4-4-2 and of course Lacazette and Aubameyang are causing all sorts of problems collectively as the ball gets thrown across the face and Shadowhunters with a chance there, 56 minutes on the clock and it is certainly still all to play for, chance to counter here for the Brazilians. Yeah, that doesn't quite come off for uh, Aubameyang. That was a really good opportunity there, Shadow Hunters. Second best for a lot of this game, but 2 2 as we approach the hour mark. Remember, we had extra time and penalties turned off in the group stage. So there could be draws. Not at this stage, of course. We'll go to extra time and penalty as Bear ends in and wins it again. Mukitarin rides the challenge. The counter attack is on. Iwobi joins in. As Lacazette in support and Mukitarin. Here is the Armenian to Aubameyang. If they work this well, they might have the overlap shut out and instead at the other end they're under pressure here it's Lacazette runs into Kosielny and a French duo going head to head there it's a lot more cagey in this second period and that might stop now because in it comes Aubameyang Shadow Hunters hit the front 
for the first time. Yet yeah, twice behind in this semi-final and now they finally have the lead and we did say it might be all crucial now the Brazilians have to flip this game on its head and grab the equalizing goal and once again it's come from the wide areas a stunning header in the end powered past the goalkeeper who had absolutely no chance and it's Shadow Hunters 3 top Pez 2 brilliant head up that was from Aubameyang they worked the space they worked the opportunity it's an excellent ball, and that is a thunderous header beyond Petr Cech. You probably saw there Topez Furukao just having a conversation about what to do. They don't look panicked at all, but they are well behind the eight ball in this game now. They have to score at the moment. It looks like Shadow Hunters from Spain might be our first finalists in the co-op format. Yeah, they've shown in the group stages that they can outscore the opposition. We wondered whether they'd have enough to break down uh, a mean defence who had conceded just three goals in four games. And they all came in the first game for Top Pez after recording three clean sheets and one nil victories on the trot. But they've been breached again three times. So uh, it seems to be if one goes in, uh, they have the potential to buckle in the big games. So can they now respond and get that equalising goal? Well, all four semi-finalists are on for 350 World Tour ranking points, just to mark your card. If you get to the final, you're guaranteed to get 600 points, and the winner gets 1,000 points. So if you reach the final, you are pretty much guaranteed a place in the World Finals, that we can say, although there's uh, plenty of things that can change and some technical um, uh, things before we can absolutely define who, who the finals uh, are going to be in the summer. But it's all eyes on glory in Berlin today anyway. That's uh, what's on everybody's minds. And right now, Shadow Hunters. Well, what do they do now? Having hit the front for the first time, presumably they go for the fourth goal. It's a very slender lead. Anything can happen. It seems to be the only way they know how. They, they, don't, they don't really have uh, the arsonry, uh, excuse the pun, almost, uh, to actually go through and Arsenal it would be a better pun, actually. I think uh, would be the more obvious one. They don't have the Arsenal to really go defensively. Uh, they sort of go to outscore the opposition. So, yeah, the fourth goal would probably be the better one that they would hope to go for. And, uh, but they're in trouble here as it's headed out of play for a, a corner. Yeah, Bamiyan was lurking now. And Kitia, I think it's just come on. Isn't going to take the corner. It's going to be Santi Cazorla. And they led twice in this game. Now they're 3-2 down. It's the Spaniard against the Spanish team who swings it in, Welbeck was there, it was a brilliant ball, and it didn't quite fall for Mkiti, otherwise he might have had a tap in. Instead, it's Aubameyang on the charge, can't quite pick out uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Kolasinac, Mkhitaryan, dispossesses Mkhitaryan, and here come Arsenal again, that'll be a foul and almost certainly a yellow card. Yeah, it's a really late challenge, that and a slight sign of frustration there as they look to break again and top pairs are finding themselves under a little bit of pressure now, they certainly can't afford to concede a fourth goal. One of those fouls that was probably a good one to give away because had he missed it, it might have been in. Yes, he got the yellow card, but at least it, it stopped the yeah. imminent threat. They still have the ball, of course. Certainly though. the tactical foul there, the cynicality to it. Uh, but yeah, like you mentioned, we see that often at the top level. Players knowing when and where to commit those little niggly fouls uh, as it's a long way from goal still. The threat is off. So another tactical change here. And three pauses uh, allowed in each game. But it's uh, fascinatingly poised. A five-goal thriller so far. Will we get a sixth? We still have 20 minutes to go. It's going to be uh, taken by the, uh, the right-footed player instead. Not going to the penalty area, no. Just tap short. And Mkhitaryan now with a ball over the top. It's a good one to Nkitia. Deflected side netting and corner. Yeah, a couple of people in the stand thought that had nestled in the near post. Of course, the optical illusion that we sometimes see. It was the side netting, but they've got a chance here from the corner. And again, he's tried the acrobatics. We've seen that a few times today, haven't we? That was outrageous from the corner to try the acrobatics, though. And uh, referee's uh, whistle went for the goal kick for Petacek. Had he connected there, that would have been... a. Well, probably the goal of the cult tournament so far. Now, Shadow Hunters are 3-2 up. They're searching for a fourth, which might just put their place in the final. 
And they've worked it nicely to Nkitia. Santi Cazorla was in there. Mustafi will feed Kalasinac. They're still playing patient stuff here. Top is Furakau. Aubameyang looking for Danny Welbeck. And it will reach Welbeck. Welbeck. And he'd gone beyond his marker there. And he might have been in. Cazorla wins a header. And now Arsenal are breaking. Aubameyang's the furthest forward player. Here's Lacazette. Mustafi hits it away as far as Cazorla. 11 minutes to find an equaliser here. Otherwise, Topez Furacal's run will finish in the last four. Aubameyang to Danny Welbeck. Is this the moment? Check to the rescue. What a save from Pedacek, and that might be the save that sends Shadowhunters to the final because we are do or die now for top pairs and what a chance the wonderful football uh, on the halfway line they broke through the one touch pass through towards uh, Lacazette and the, the finish was on for the far post but it's a good save in the end from Pedacek's feet still they pile the pressure on they can't get out here camped in the penalty area here still they can't get out and now it's Aubameyang across to the back post Danny Welbeck's there and headed away finally Shadowhunters hanging on here to their 3-2 lead they certainly are anywhere will do as it's lofted forward again and here comes Mukitarian. No way through on that occasion. And if they keep the ball here, Shadow Hunters know they'll be through, but they launch it long. Kisielny again wins the header, but it's picked up by Nkitia, who's heading for the corner flag. And who can blame him? Yeah, almost looking for that professionalism down in the corner flag, but it was a sloppy touch that's put it out of play for a throw and a, a last lifeline potentially as we tick towards added on time. Fourth official walks towards that technical area. How many minutes will be added on as the ball is still in the penalty area, blocked the cross and fired away. Anywhere will do, won't it? It will, and I think that might just be that as uh, Arsenal bring it forward. Attack is the best form of defence. Uh, oh, he's picked the pass. The offside flag goes up now. Well, they really should have created a better opportunity there. And have they given their Brazilian counterparts one last opportunity? Or is that the full-time whistle? Not quite. <laughs> wow, now we're going to see some form of serious tactical changes here from Top Pez as they send the big men forward from the back. One last launch towards that penalty area. Chris, this is where it gets so exciting because we know that one chance could change, completely change proceedings here in the semi-final. And if it comes, I'll tell you what, Shadow Hunters will kick themselves there because they had a three on one. Absolutely. They, they either would have scored or they would have wasted enough time to win the game. They did neither. They were betwixt and between, and as you saw, the two players bombing on forwards. The early pass would have sent them through, but they wanted to keep possession. But then they went for the pass, and it was just all wrong. And it's given the Brazilians one last chance to send this ball forward. Chris, final few seconds. Here it goes. And in fact, that was that. Shadow Hunters through to the final. Congratulations to them. They've picked up potentially enough points to qualify for the world finals as well. And uh, the Spanish duo win for the fifth time in a row. Disappointment 